scanner assisted high harmonic generation directly from a laser oscillator enables spectroscopic applications in the extreme ultraviolet spectral region. To succeed, high peak intensities of at least 10 to the 13 watts per square centimeter are necessary. Resonant nano antennas typically exhibit an intensity enhancement of more than two orders of magnitude and are therefore a possible scheme to reach the required peak intensities. To first get an overview of the setup, the schematic drawing is shown below. At the beginning, a Titan Sapphire laser oscillator delivers ultra-short laser pulses, followed by a set of optical components to pre-compress the pulses and increase the laser beam size. Afterwards, the widened beam is directed into a vacuum chamber and focused onto the substrate containing the nano antennas. Additionally, xenon gas is fed onto the substrate through a gas nozzle. The Teton Sapphire oscillator in our setup works at 100 MHz and delivers pulses with a duration smaller than 6 femtoseconds. To pre-compensate the dispersion of all used optical components, two double chirp mirrors and a pair of fused silica wedges are used. After the pre-compression of the laser pulses, a telescope with a ratio of 1 to 3 increases the beam size to permit stronger focusing. Now let's have a look inside the vacuum chamber. On the left you can see a picture of the object plate with the substrate and an SIM image of the flake containing the nano antennas. To see the actual bowtie antennas an even stronger enlargement is necessary. The bowtie nano antennas are arranged in a two-dimensional array. It incorporates nearly 900 antennas within an area of roughly 9 times 9 micrometers. High harmonic generation is usually experimentally realized in gaseous media. Therefore, a gas jet is used to feed gas onto the nano antennas. Because the harmonic intensity scales with the number of contributing atoms squared, the number of emitters has a large influence on the signal. So the number of gas atoms in the interaction volume is crucial for the successful nanostructure enhanced high harmonic generation. When the laser pulse reaches the bowtie nano antennas, a strong field enhancement is produced between the vertices of the nanostructures. If we look closer, we see, while free electrons are confined within one apex of the bowtie element, the opposing apex is filled with positive charges. This way, the strong field enhancement is possible, ultimately resulting in the generation of high harmonics. Although there is some debate about the nature of the emission process, we hope you get a good overview of the experimental idea behind the generation of high harmonics.